bright sunny afternoon here in Hampton, Georgia, where for the sixth time this season, the NFL Mission Bar Q Cup Series will set the starting grid for the sixth race of the 2021 season, the Folds of Honor Cookout 500. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Trey Wright. Ten minutes go on the board as usual here in the Mission Barbecue Cup Series. And after a wild race last weekend at Vermont, we come down to Hot Atlanta, Georgia for the uh, Fools of Honor Cookout 500 here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway, the new version of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Of course, uh, if, you were, uh, if you watched last season, you saw the 1997 layout of the Atlanta Motor Speedway. But now we're on the tri-oval layout, where what was the front straightaway is now the back straightaway, and uh, vice versa. Trying to locate your winner from last week, Madison Tall. There she is in the number 99 advanced auto parts Chevrolet Monte Carlo for NS Racing. Two wins on the season, on, uh, yeah, two wins on the docket for the 99 team already, just five races in, and uh, just a litany of uh, really good finishes for that team. Tall has really established herself as a top dog in the Mission Barbecue Cup Series so far as her teammate Josh Williamson in the 98 goes to the top of the board with a 29.667 uh, second lap time. Now Cole Sampson goes to the top of the charts uh, with the second that is uh, two tenths faster. Now Caleb Rose goes to the top of the charts as well. Going to be the first uh, first cookie cutter mile and a half track this season that we go to. Of course, we'll be, uh, be going to the Charlotte Motor Speedway as well. Actually, I think that's it of the trials. We are not going to the Texas Motor Speedway. We're going to the Texas World Speedway, in fact. As Nathan Smith goes to the top of the charts, Smith, who has had mechanical failures in the last two races, I believe it was both camshaft failures at Auto Club in Vermont. But uh, Smith really would like a good start here. As, uh, uh, excuse me, at Atlanta, as Eric Monaco goes to second place. Monaco, your Auto Club winner, really needs a good run as well if he wants to contend for the chase. We only, we uh, excuse me. Can't talk today. We are only five races in, so it's plenty of time uh, for Monaco and a lot of these guys to get in the chase. But uh, Madison Tall, about the way she's running, she's already at, she's uh, found her way into second. At least she was in second, but she's already laid down a pretty fast lap time in the 99. But Madison Tall, really early on, establishing, her, uh, establishing herself as a contender for the championship. She was last season. She had two wins on the season last year. At uh, New Jersey and Boston. We return to both of those tracks this season. So watch out for this 99 to be at the front of the field for a lot of races this season. But, uh, Nathan Smith, uh, your defending winner here at Atlanta, I should say. Forgot to mention that. Currently with the fastest time in... I don't know what I don't know what they're putting in that those engines at uh Polar Star Motorsports, but you know what, at least it didn't happen in the race. But Nathan Smith blowing an engine here in qualifying. Oh boy. He has played down a pretty fast lap time, so I will give him that. A 28.715. So we'll see if he can uh, remain there. But he uh, he isn't and he is not starting at the rear of the field. This isn't like real life where if you wreck out or you blow an engine in qualifying, uh, you're not gonna you're gonna start from the rear. So Nathan Smith will have the pole if he stays there about halfway through qualifying. But man, that is three races in a row, three week weekends in a row, I should say, where that 25's motor has blown up. So I don't know. I don't know what it, what the issue is. If that's another camshaft, I, I have no idea. As a commentator, as a commentator, I really can't feel biased, but just as a race fan, just like, golly, man, Nathan Smith, what are you putting into your cars? He's pu probably putting in those, uh, the Buick, um, the Buick IndyCar engines that would expire after five laps. Then again, that's IndyCar, but just the same style of engines. But man, oh man, now Nathan Smith is brought back out onto the racetrack. So, yes, it's Medea. Anyway, back to the back to qualifying here. Halfway home, Derek Hamill has got second. Hamill, uh, he did get the pole last week. 
Yeah, Hamill was on the pole last week at Vermont. Let's see if he can try and get two poles in a row. Cameron Garlington, currently the highest running rookie in third. And those rookies, oh boy, those rookies have been insane on the season. Dano Georgi, John Andrews, Ryan Durrani, Braden Perez, four rookies in the top 10 in points. They have been lightning fast uh, on the early stages of the season. And especially with Dano Georgi getting the Daytona 500 championship back in February. I don't know, just, uh, we thought it was a fluke for the rookies. We thought it was, a uh, was uh, just dumb luck super speedway racing, but Georgia, he's been fairly consistent. Uh, like I said last week, uh, I believe it was during qualifying, but John Andrews has just been the poster child for flying under the radar in the 46. And uh, right now he's currently sitting fifth in points with 645 points, running a really consistent season so far. And there's a the guy who's currently in second in points. Ryan Benjamin, I thought he was dead in the water last week. I thought he would fall back to third in points, but Benjamin, he did lose the points, leaves 65 points behind Madison Tall. But uh, Benjamin, you can't kill him. He's always going to be there in the 15. And Nathan Smith still with the fastest time. There's Ethan Lewis in the 79 getting a, a little bit of a draft. The draft is going to be fairly important here uh, in about an hour for the Folds of Honor Cookout 500. So... Watch out for anybody uh, in the draft to get this win. Ryan Benjamin currently fifth. Logan Williams, P6, had that wild ride. Not as wild as Colton Yo's ride last week. We'll talk about that more in an hour. But uh, Logan Williams now falls back down to sixth. As Aiden Macro fall, uh, rises up to fifth. Everybody gets bumped down one position. Charlie Davenport is in eighth. Brent, uh, Tristan Allen, both MWR guys, are in the top nine. And John Andrews in the top 10. Rounds out your top 10 with just a few clicks over to, uh, yeah, just a few clicks under three minutes remaining in the sixth qualifying session of the season. Making sure everybody's got a lap in. There's Will Parrish, who, uh, he's kind of been the black sheep of the rookies or the pink sheep, if you will. Just has not had a good run in that 02. Currently, uh, 40, 39th in the points with 225 points. The only guy that's had a worse season than him is Nathan Stapleton. Stapleton currently... Stapleton starting 27th in the 97 and Will Parrish starting 29th. So really none of these guys have had any luck this season, especially Stapleton. Last week was his best finish at Vermont. I believe he got 25th or... Uh, no, he got 26th. 23rd I believe at Vermont so and that was his best finish and he finished two laps down in that so luck lady luck has not been nice to Mr. Stapleton that is for certain but hopefully things can turn around his teammates have been at his teammates have been uh burning down the sport burning down the series Madison Tall we all know what she's done in the early stages and Josh Williamson has had a uh, he's at that's a I'm trying to can't speak here he's been in a little bit of a Good race slump. He crashed out last week at Vermont in that uh, brutal lap 8 incident. But other than that, it's been pretty rock steady. But Nathan Stapleton has had nothing go his way. The owner driver for NS Racing. There's Noah Clifton, another guy who's uh, been mid-pack in the points. Very quiet in the season. Hasn't made a whole lot of noise. But uh, Stealth Motorsports... They're right up there in owner's points. So Cameron Garlington, the owner driver of this team, has really put together a good fleet of drivers. All three of the drivers on that team are rookies, but uh, except, I mean, well, Cameron Garlington isn't exactly a rookie to NASCAR Nerd 34. What has won the uh, Daytona 500 over on AG Racing uh, twice, I believe. He's won it at least once. I know that. I can't remember if he's won it twice. But Garlington is... Uh, no stranger to these NR2003 offline leagues. And then on his team, Logan our Logan Alexander and Noah Clifton. Clifton, the Australian driver, has been really running really well in the Body Armor Cup series. And Logan Alexander is a true wild card on that team. Nobody knows uh, the expe expectations for that 20 car were really low coming in. Or like, I guess, uh, medium coming in. Nobody really expected him to do well. But Logan Alexander, he hasn't done terrible, I should say. Currently, looking on my chart here, currently 14th in the points, so nothing really special. 
But hey, it's still early on in the season for a lot of these guys. Like I said, at the top of qualifying, Madison Tall has established herself as the top dog. But currently the top dog on the pylon right now for qualifying is Nathan Smith, who blew a motor in the middle of the session, trying to find where Nathan Smith is. There is a 25. I believe we're going to have one more time reset after this. Make sure everybody gets their laps in. Yep, one more time reset for the 25. Or for the field, I should say. And looks like Nathan Smith is going to try and pick up right where he left off last year to open up the chase. He is a defending winner here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Let's see if he can uh, go back to back here in Hotlanta at this Hampton, Georgia racetrack. Five seconds left in qualifying. And Nathan Smith, barring any uh, changes, no, there aren't. Nathan Smith for Polar Star Motorsports. Five bonus points towards the championship for winning the poll. There is your starting lineup for this afternoon's Folds of Honor uh, Cookout 500. Almost said Quick Trip right there because the Quick Trip logo is right still on the back straight. We forgot to remove that when I was editing this track. But Nathan Smith is your pole sitter. Derek Hamill outside pole. So Hamill, uh, two weeks in a row, he is starting up front. Let's see if he can have a better result after last week's disappointment in Vermont. Cameron Garlington, P3. Landon Smith Jr. up there in P4. Polystar Motorsports got a couple of guys in there. Guys that desperately need some good runs. Ethan Lewis rounds out your top five. Madison Tall, P6. Aiden Macro, P7. Ryan Benjamin, 8th. Mitchell Collins, ninth, And Logan Williams rounds out your top ten. Take a look and see. There's the rest of your starting position. Zachary Davis, Car number one starting in position number 40. The opposite end of the spectrum for that guy. There's Colton Yo at a wild ride, excuse me, last week at Vermont. I'll talk more about that this afternoon here at the, uh, excuse me, the uh, Folds of Honor Cookout 500 at 4 p.m. Eastern start time here at the Atlanta Motor Speedway. Be sure to, uh, uh, yeah, uh, be there and be sure to uh, support uh, the series and just uh, watch the race and see if your driver wins this 65 lap event here for the sixth race of the 2021 season of the NFCRO Mission Barbecue Cup Series. That's all I've got for now. Congratulations once again to Nathan Smith on your on uh, winning the poll here for the Folds of Honor Cookout 500. And we will see you in about 45 minutes uh, over on NASCAR Under 34 for the sixth race of the 2021 season of the NFCRO Mission Barbecue Cup Series.